Hey everybody, welcome back to Pocket Beats. I reached a point with the track that I was making on the OPZ where I thought, I think maybe the next step would be to add some vocals. And so, well, to do things properly, I thought I'm going to have to get all these tracks into a DAW. So I've got Logic Pro on my computer. Uh, I only use three patterns, uh, eight, which is like a verse, nine, which is like a chorus, and 10, which is like a bridge, back to nine, very simple structure. Holding P and then holding down that next white key saves that arrangement. Um, so you can see I've got that saved there. That's going to be important. Uh, but the process is just going to be recording in the kick, recording in the snare, hi-hat, percussion, uh, one by one, making sure my tempo is right, putting that in on my software there. And then the key as well, just in case I use some other software instruments and uh, I'm not very good at music theory, so uh, it might help me just make sure I can stay within a key, especially if I'm looking for samples online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everything other than the kick at first, get my arrangement set up, and then make sure I've done it on each of those patterns, right? So if you've only muted it on one and then the chorus comes in and everything's unmuted again, then you'd have all that on the one track, which we don't want. So we're just making a kick track all the way from the start to the finish. And it's, you know, it's a longer than two minute song. So a little bit of waiting time there. So I've sped things up. Then after you've recorded it, remember your session in Logic or your DAW is set to a BPM. And so if you just line up the first note really well, then um, you've got that set. So it should be in time with the, the click so that when you're adding in the other tracks like your snare and um, hi-hat, everything lines up nicely. But you still probably will find that it takes a little bit of fiddling around until you're happy. Uh, if you want really natural sounding drums, you know, not everything's exactly on the beat. And and uh, if you've nudged notes around on the OPZ, then getting them exactly right uh, when you've recorded them in takes a bit of trial and error, but it's worth it. So I've gone and done the same thing for my bass and my lead part here is going through and having the same process done. The important thing as well is just make sure that even if you've got a mix that you're kind of happy with on the OPZ, you do want to make sure that at least each track, when it goes into the software, has enough volume, uh, enough gain on the way in that you can mix it, right? Like you might just need to turn this thing down and turn things up at the end. So make sure you have enough to work with. But how about I just play the, uh, play the track for you now? It's a work in progress, doesn't have any vocals. It's basically just the rhythm section. But yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, that's it. Here we go.